Hello everyone, it's Rajiv and welcome back to my channel Rajiv's Reviews. In this video, I am going to be giving my book review of the new book by Dean Koons called Devoted. This book was so good and unlike anything that I have read before. Imagine if you are watching a innocent, feel-good children's cartoon and you throw in a bit of a psychotic, cannibalistic serial killer from a horror movie and also throw in a bit of an X-Files or Stranger Things like science fiction government conspiracy vibe. Yeah, it's hard to imagine something with all of that put together, right? But that is exactly what Dean Koontz has done in this novel and it works out brilliantly. There are multiple storylines that take place in this book, so I'm going to try and explain it the best way possible. One story focuses on 11-year-old Woody and his mother Megan. Woody is autistic and he has never spoken a word in his life even to his mother. But Woody is super smart and could have possibly found out a secret conspiracy that could have been the cause for his father's death. In another storyline, Kip is this golden retriever who is super smart and very devoted to his owners and he has a very interesting way of communicating with them. After his caretaker Dorothy passes away, Kip meets this man named Ben and both of them go on this very interesting journey where they are wanting to meet Woody. Now there is a third parallel storyline that takes place with this character named Lee Shackett who is the CEO of this company called Refine which mysteriously blows up and kills 92 people in his facility but Lee is one of those people who also gets contaminated with something inside the facility and is the only one who manages to escape. As Lee slowly starts changing for the worse because of whatever is inside him, he is also on a mission to meet Megan for payback and revenge. Honestly, I have never read such a book which has such a wide spectrum of characters and personalities and made me feel so many different things while I was reading it. On one side, you have these amazing characters like Woody and Kip, who are just this pure, unadulterated bundle of joy that just ooze out positive energy from the pages. And on the other end, you have characters like Lee Shackett, who is this psychotic, cannibalistic, insane person who is very scary to read and you really don't know how he is going to react with the people that he comes across. He is honestly one of the creepiest characters that I have probably ever read and I was at the edge of my seat during those scenes where he enters the Bookman residence in intending to kill everyone. All the supporting characters, whether it be Carson or Megan or Ben or Rosa or even Dorothy, are so interesting and distinctive in their own way. And what was also interesting is that the author has paced the story so well that all of these characters lead their own individual normal lives one day and within 24 hours it's so fun to see how they all connect and their whole lives take a turn for the extraordinary. Honestly, this has all the trademarks that I like in a classic Dean Koons novel like a person with supernatural characteristics, a lovable canine, government conspiracies, suspenseful thrillers with a lot of twists and turns and the whole build-up and pacing is done so nicely that even if you have read some of his previous novels you really don't know how this story is going to turn out and what is going to happen to the characters because he has just done it so well. Having said that, however, there are a few minor things which I felt could have been done a bit better. One thing which I always feel is my only downside towards reading a Dean Koontz novel is that he tends to unnecessarily repeat a lot of his dialogues and some of his paragraphs seems very repetitious where even in this book he repeatedly mentions in different paragraphs in various chapters about the great bond between man and the dog and how it has surpassed through many centuries and while this is very nice to read it kind of gets a little dragging at times and steps away from the plot. Also, there are a few scenes which I felt 
that did not make any sense realistically. Like, I really did not know how Ben happened to come into the place where Kip was being locked up and how he managed to save him. It wasn't really clear why he was there in the first place, so that felt a little off. Also, I'm not going to give any spoilers, but there is a scene towards the end where Lee comes inside Dorian's mansion and again while I love this scene I was just wondering how he managed to get past all the security without being noticed and come inside his mansion but apart from that I loved everything about this book. If you have enjoyed reading some of the author's previous books like Watchers then I would definitely recommend you to pick out his new novel Devoted which just released in the bookstores last week. Overall I really enjoyed reading this book and I would give it a rating of four and a half out of five stars. If you enjoyed watching this video and enjoyed my review then please do like share and subscribe and please click on the bell notifications icon to get notifications on whenever I post something new. Thank you for watching and until next time bye!